Never have to seal your granite ever again. Granite Shield restores old granite to look better than it ever did and permanently seals granite, making it smoother, shinier, and maintenance-free. My granite was sealed by Granite Shield in August of 2005. It's never been sealed again. It's as shiny as the day it was sealed by Granite Shield. All I've ever used is an ammonia-based glass cleaner and occasionally clean and shine. And I never wipe up spills immediately. Hi, I'm Craig Phillips, the owner and founder of Granite Shield. Today I'm going to show you how to use our do-it-yourself sealing kit. It's as simple as one, two, three, four, five. So let's get started. This is a light colored granite. And for light colored granites, we just start with number one. And this is our technique that you're going to be using. If you use your hand and cup it to spray, you won't get any overspray. You put a little bit on your hand and then you just rub it in and you can actually feel how far it will go before you have to apply some more. And so you just rub it in to the stone and you will see on a light colored stone it will start to turn dark, which it's starting to do now. And with your gloved hand you can actually feel any defects, well, I shouldn't say defects, uh, any dirt caulking, epoxy left over from the installation of your granite or just from everyday use. Alright, we have found some food residue on the countertop so we just take a standard razor blade at a 45 degree angle and just slide it to remove any residue. I can feel it. Again, this is from the installation caulking and epoxies and they just scrape off easily as long as your sealer is on the countertop. There we go. So set that aside and just continue applying the sealer. And then again when you find more residue, scrape it off. Around your sink area you want to spray and then take your fingers and roll it onto the edge of the stone because you really want to make sure you get everything you can sealed up. Now we've finished applying step one to the counter, we're going to smooth it over evenly, make sure we didn't miss anything, just using a white terry cloth towel. And we're going to go around all the edges. Just like cleaning your countertop, that's all you have to do. finish wiping down the countertop with the white terry cloth towel we're going to switch to a microfiber towel and we're going to remove the sealer and its residue. We 
just finished putting on GS1, which is the first step on a light colored granite. And I just want to show you that we started with a full bottle and we've only used approximately one ounce. And we just sealed 40 square feet with it. So a standard kitchen, uh, this product will seal uh, two to three standard kitchens. Now on our light granite, the next step required is three. We don't need two for this process. We'll be using it for another uh, colored granite. So we're just going to spray the backsplash, rub it in, and then wipe it off. Now we're going to continue all the way around the kitchen with the exact same process that we did the first step. Make sure when you're doing the edges you roll and get the edges very well because those are actually more porous now than the surface because of the cutting and polishing. Just like in the first step, after we finish our application, we're going to rub it in with a white terry cloth towel. Make sure that we've re covered all the surface. After you spread it around with one side, you can turn it over for the dry side and then finish buffing off the residue. And just make sure that you can look down in the light and you don't see any smear of any kind. And that will guarantee that you're going to get a perfect, smooth, clean seal after you're done. Now we finished with number three. We're going to go to number four. And do the same procedure all over again. Now one thing while you're applying, make sure that your countertop stays wet during your application because when it starts to dry, it's time to pop, time to buff. And you'll know it when you look down in the light, you'll see the granite, the sealer half dry. That only takes about five minutes or less, depending on humidity and temperature. So always look down at it and make sure that it hasn't started to dry on you. If it does, then just buff it off. And if it does go dry before you can get to it, you can add more sealer to it and then buff it off. And it will clean off the residue. It's just more work if you have to do it that way. Now we finished buffing off number four with the microfiber towel. We're going to apply number five. And again, you'll be able to feel the tension under your glove on where your sealer is. And then when you stick, you need to add more. On a standard 26 inch deep countertop, as you can see here, it takes one, two, three pumps, and that's more than enough chemical to do the whole depth and about one feet wide.
after you're done applying, again use the white terry cloth towel to rub it in and spread it around. And then you'll be ready for the next step, which is actually going back to number four. And I'll show you the proper application process for that. Now we finished rubbing in number five. We're going to go back to number four. And all we're going to do is spritz it on and just rub it in with a towel. Just making sure that we coat the whole thing thoroughly. <clears throat> and this is your final step in a light granite seal. finished rubbing in number four into the countertop and now all we have to do is wipe it off with a microfiber towel and you'll have a beautiful shiny smooth countertop. Just look at that shine. Now we're done buffing number four, we're going to do a water test to see how repellent our seal is. As you can see, we've got a good bead, just rolls away, leaves no residue, completely sealed, no penetration, no darkening, the countertop is done. light granite 24 hours after it's been applied you can then use your aftercare cleaner which is called clean and shine and it's as simple as spray wipe and buff giving you even smoother cleaner shinier countertops now we're done sealing our 40 square feet of granite and if you get a close-up of these bottles, you'll see how very little we used to do this application. And again, we used GS4 twice, so we've used the most out of that bottle. And as you can see, this kit will do 40 square feet over and over and over again. We're about to finish this project off with uh, sealing it with our Clean and Shine, which you can use daily uh, or monthly. It doesn't take very much. And also to make your sealing job easier, we have the buffer available online from Granite Shield. So let me show you how easy this is to do. Just a light mist, spread it around. your microfiber towel, turn on your buffer, and just let it spin, nice and easy, keep your towel underneath it, and when you're finished, your granite will be smooth and silky. Thank you from Granite Shield and happy sealing.